Hello and welcome to Fox Gaming. Today I'm finally painting up my ring wraiths. My goal was to paint them in a way that makes them look great on the battlefield and when doing a closer inspection. Let's begin. I primed the model with the grey sear. This is because I want to base coat with a contrast paint. If you want to paint them faster, feel free to prime them black. The next step was to base coat the miniature with Black Legion Contrast. This goes all over the cloaks, which is basically the whole miniature, except the hands, feet and sword. An argument can be made for skipping this and just prime the model black. But I find that there is a subtle color difference when using this method that I really like. Next, I use lead belcher. This will go on the hands, feet and sword. Now it's time to shade the miniature. The first shade is Targor Rage Shade, which will go on the metal and the lower parts of the cloak. The colors may not be the most protruding, but it makes a small difference. I split the cloak up in two parts. The first part consists of the lower part of the miniature. This will be everything except the hood and the cloak connected to it, the robe on the arms and the scarf. I then used Nuln Oil to shade the metal and the previously mentioned cloak areas that were not shaded before. Now on to highlighting. The lower part of the cloak and all of the belts are highlighted using Skaven Blight Dinge, painting thin lines all over the folds and edges. I didn't want the wraith to look grey however, so I made sure that the lines were not too thick. Then I used Storm Vermin Fur to paint an even thinner line within the previous highlights. In some places I don't highlight the whole length of the cloth. This is mainly on the thinner folds. To make the transition smoother, the top of the hood and the neck area was painted with a mix of a baden black and ashen grey. For the upper parts, I start with a highlight of ashen grey, doing the same as with the first highlights on the lower cloaks. The color difference between the upper and lower parts is subtle, and you will not see it from afar, but when looking at the model up close, it makes a difference. I used Dawnstone on the second highlight, hitting a smaller area on the hood and the cloak connected to it, the robe on the arms and the scarf. When doing this kind of subtle color variations, it really does make a difference. Of course, it's not like a red and a green cloak, but it makes the model look better. Silver is then highlighted using Iron Breaker. Now all that is left is the base. Since the model is very, very black, I try to spice things up on the base. First I put some recycled coffee grounds on the base using PVA glue. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video about that. This is then painted using Rhinox Hide. Next, I glue on some details on the base, in this case a skull. I paint the skull using Screaming Skull. Vår 
polish it with Agrax Earth Shade. Dry brush the base with Carrick Stone. And then dry brush very lightly with Pallid Witch Flesh. To finish it up, I paint the rim of the base black. Then I glue on some of my homemade base ready to represent twigs and leaves. The link for that video is in the description. Now the ring wraith is complete. It's just a matter of painting up 8 more. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you liked it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Stay tuned for more painting guides, terrain building videos and battle reports. See you around.